Hi, uh, this is Linking Yellow, and welcome to my first scripting tutorial for Hammer. All right, so um, so this tutorial I'm going to be starting with the basics, and that's pretty much just how to get scripting working in your maps and uh, what a function is. All right, so first of all, how to get scripting in your maps. Uh, let me uh, just get rid of that. All right, I'm going to start from scratch here. All right, so I've got a room here, got a player start. Okay, so first of all, let's uh, start off by creating a script. Um, so first of all, uh, we're going to create a script in a program called Notepad++. That's, uh, I believe that Notepad will also work just fine, but Notepad++, Notepad++ works really well with you know, with helping you troubleshoot uh, problems with your code and just be able to see things more clearly. And I also believe that more symbols work in it, um, but I haven't run into any problems where that would be necessary. So, all right, to start off, uh, pretty much uh, we would type in some script. All right, and then what we'll do with the script uh, let's just pretend this is this is a script I want to run all right uh, let me uh, save it as first of all I want to change it to all types and then script test uh, function all right and then we'll do dot nut uh, dot nuts are the type of file that you're going to be using for scripts so I'm just going to save that and then in here, we can go to manage. Actually, first of all, let me go back here. And uh, where this will be saving is you'll want to be you know, in your portal 2, right in common. And go to portal 2. And uh, from here, you'll go to scripts and then vscripts. And then there, you know, choose any folder. I named, I made my own called custom. And, uh, you know, I'm, I just put them all, all that I create in here. Um, as I go further on, I'll probably uh, make some more folders. But for now, custom works for me. And custom should pr pretty much work for you, too, unless you want to go, like, super OCD on it, which is always, always a good thing. All right, so all right, so in here we have the list of all of the maps, uh, .nuts, or script files. Uh, so far, there is nothing in the map, so I'm just going to hit plus, and we can load up our own. So we'll go back to where that was. This is uh, Steam, Steam Apps Common, Portal 2, Portal 2, Scripts, Vscripts, and then Custom, which is where I saved mine, as I said earlier. Script Test Function, that's the one I just added. Uh, so uh, here we have Script Test Function dot nut is placed on this button here. Now I'm assuming if you're watching how to script with Portal 2 that you know how to use Hammer. If you don't know how to use Hammer, stop this now. Go watch some Top Hat Waffle uh, videos of <laughs> of how to learn Hammer, and uh, and then come back. Uh, but uh, for now, if you do know Hammer, uh, this is, this is the place to be if you want to learn scripting, of course. So uh, once you have this in here, uh, you know, pretty much just open the properties and in entity scripts and that's where you'll hit manage and uh, do what I showed just earlier um, and yeah that, that was uh, just select the one hit OK or if there's nothing here or if the one that you want the one that you want is not here hit plus and then press uh, click on it press OK alright so uh, now that that's in there anything that we have this button run scripts for uh, will run it from this script alright so let's say I want to. Okay, didn't properly clean this map out before uh, before retrying this. All right, so let's say I want to. Uh, let's say uh, on pressed. Okay, uh, the button. Uh, goggles button. Oh, I don't. I don't care. I don't know why I named it that. <laughs> All right, so. Let's uh, run script code, all right? And pretty much uh, we'll run some code and it will reference anything built into this script here. Right now there is absolutely nothing built into the script. So what I'm about to do, it doesn't even need anything in here, but um, but it also won't work, won't work and I'll show you why. All right, so 
Uh, then there are functions, all right? Functions are what you'll do to run pretty much anything. All right, so let's uh, use the function printl, all right? And uh, what that will do is in the in the screen, the, in the command console uh, for the game, you will see uh, whatever is inside here, this inside some quotes. All right, so let's say, Hey, you listen. All right, then if I were to start up the game right now, uh, then, you know, I could just uh, press the accent button, uh, the unshifted tilde button right above the tab, uh, bring up the command console, and you know how to open up the command console if you're this far. All right, so, and then you, you would see in there, when you press this button over here, you would see, hey, you listen. Or that's what would happen if uh, if quotation marks, which this probably, if you're familiar enough with Hammer, um, <laughs> it's probably sent up a red flag right here. You can't have quotation marks inside Hammer. Um, so what this will actually do is, you know, if I save and then exit, I'm going to have a large problem getting back in. Uh, so let's let me just do that real quickly. Um, all right, let me open that back up. All right, let me open this back up, and we're going to see a large problem. Uh, scripting testing room. It's uh, reading chunks. It's going to try for a while, and it's just going to crash. All right, so uh, what we're going to do to fix that problem that I just created, um, this is something you can uh, easily mess up on. Uh, I'm just going to open up, let's see, in Portal 2, I'm going to go to uh, to my Maps folder, and uh, scripting test room. And I'm just going to do a quick search for, hey, you listen. All right, this is not, oh, that's the BSP. Just kidding. All right. Come on. All right. Scripting test room. Here we go. And we're going to want the, uh, the dot VMF. No. Yes, the dot VMF. All right. Let me get rid of that BSP there. All right, now it's a hey, you listen. All right, I'm just going to remove these quotes right here. Now, if you're familiar with uh, if you're familiar with scripting at all, um, you would probably know that uh, this would usually work. Oh. oh. All right, yeah, putting a backslash. Let me just press insert first. All right, so you probably know that putting a backslash before this uh, would usually do the trick, and with the actual coding part, it will, but for the VMS, unfortunately, it won't. So I'm just going to remove the quotation marks altogether. All right, save that, and now I'll be able to open it. No... Scripting test room. All right, and it'll open now. All right. So back in here, hey, you listen. Um, this without the quotation marks, it won't do anything unless there's a variable called hey, you listen. So, um, so I'm actually going to show you variables in a later tutorial. But for now, um, since really any functions that we could just put in here as they are, they aren't going to work. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to write my own function. So to write my own function, I'm going to first declare that I am writing a function. For that, I'm just going to type function. All right, and then after I write function, I just want to create the name of the function. So let's say I want a function that uh, that prints a smiley face. All right, uh, print smiley face. Can't have any spaces. Um, all right, and then here I have the name, but that's not the full name. What we need to do is do an open close parentheses. Uh, this is to show that we're not putting any uh, variables into this from anywhere else. If we were putting any, we would still have the open and close parentheses, but we would have stuff inside there like Tommy, Timmy, Tr Tr Troucher, I don't know. Anyway, point is I'm not putting anything into here, so I'm just going to have that shut for now with, with nothing inside there. All right, and so, you know, after you create a function, 
uh, what we have here is the function now is created. I could call that function. It wouldn't do anything. Whatever is on the following line, exact following line, uh, that is what uh, what the function will do. So let's do print l, open close, and then inside the properties here, I'm just going to put a smiley face. All right. And so what that'll do is it'll print a smiley face. So let me save that. Um, let me run the map real quickly. Since I don't have portal open yet, I'm just going to have that run it automatically. So this isn't going to take very long because it's a pretty small map. Not much lighting going on here. Um, let's see. All right, and so getting into the game now. And when I press it, it should uh, it should just pop up the smiley face. All right, I'm going to put on developer three just so I can see the smiley face in the top corner. I'm not going to have to go into the the developer console, um, but I'll show you it in the developer console anyway. Um, all right, so developer three. All right, I'm not sure what one, two, and zero do. Um, I haven't really looked into it yet, but it's a uh, Let's take a look here. Um, hmm. My bad. All right. I uh, forgot to put this in. All right. So, uh, so what we see here is the function uh, is not enough to just create the function. We actually have to say what function is uh, being called. So I'm just going to put that right here. Let me uh, put that up at the same time. Print smiley face. Actually, let me just copy and paste that in. That's pretty simple. All right. So what this is doing is run script code. I am running the script code. Print smiley face. And so when this print smiley face is running, uh, well, what this actually does is uh, this actually puts in the code print smiley face. Uh, if I were to say in here, put, you know, in, instead of this line right here, if I were to put uh, print smiley face. Actually, let me just copy and paste that. All right. If I were to just do a uh, print smiley face here, what this would do is, uh, when this function were to be called, then it would call this function, which of course would be an infinite loop and would of course not really work. So I'm just going to take that out real quickly. All right. So uh, what this is doing is this is calling the function like what I was showing over here except uh, this is actually initializing it in the first place. All right, so uh, now one really nice thing is I can just reload here uh, because, oh no, I can't reload. Uh, if I change what's in here, then I can just reload and everything will work because then it will re-reference uh, the script. But I ch what I did here is I actually changed some of the inputs and outputs, so I am going to have to recreate the map real quickly. All right, that's finished, and now, now we can reload. All right, press the button, and we have a smiley face up in the top corner there. All right, and in here we also have the smiley face right here. All right, now let's say I wanted. All right, let's uh, take a look here. Let's say I wanted to do this multiple times. Um, say like I wanted to put something further down you know say I want three smiley faces why not all right but unfortunately whatever's in this function has to be on the very line that's underneath it well fortunately we have a way around this we can just do a squiggly bracket I believe that's the name of it squiggly bracket sounds cool if it's not so I mean I'm not gonna not gonna push for anything else maybe a mustache bracket it looks like it could be a mustache bracket 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 anyway uh, what this will do is it will treat anything between here as a next line. All right, so now I'm just uh, going to put a semicolon there to show that that's the end. And actually, I don't even have to save. I just have to save this. And I'm just going to reload, reaccess the script, and I'll do this. And it's three smiley faces up in the top corner. And again, it's three smiley faces right here. So, um, so this uh, print L is a very useful, a very useful function for uh, 
for testing things, but uh, there are a lot of functions that are associated with Portal 2. So let's actually uh, pull up a quick little list here. That is, uh, that's not what I'm trying to pull up. All right, pull up a quick little list. Um, all right, so I'm just going to do a quick Google search for uh, list of portal to script functions. And up here at the first uh, first result here, always every time, uh, you're going to get a massive list of functions. Uh, functions that you can call at any time. And I'm going to call one that uh, this will be pretty useful as an introductionary one. It's the first one I ever used and um, you know I, I really suggest that uh, that this is the first one that you'll use. So pretty much I'll put that in here and uh, here this is string. Uh, I'm just going to replace that with a string. Um, HTTP colon slash slash www.google.com and then I'm just gonna close parentheses there. Alright, now this right here, um, we know this actually is not going to work uh, because of these uh, these quotation marks right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna X that out and I'm gonna put that in here. Alright, so when this function is called this function will be called. And uh, the reason why we would do that, even if it is just one function, uh, is you know because of the quotation marks. Because what this is inside here, as I showed earlier, is a string. And for a string, in order for it to work, uh, which I'll show a bit more of that later uh, in another tutorial, uh, for a string to work, it's going to need quotation marks. All right, so uh, then here, I'm just going to do, actually, let me just uh, rename this function. All right. And I'm going to name it uh, play no visit awesome site because Google is an awesome site. I hope nobody disagrees. All right, so actually, let me just copy and paste it just to make it a little, a little faster. Copy and then you know just paste that into here, and pretty much when this button is pressed this button is going to visit an awesome site. Um, I'm going to apply and run the map. All right, and let's uh, reload. All right, and just hit this, and it's uh, going to encounter an error. We didn't see why it would do that. Let's see. Oh, 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 an extra thing in there. All right. All right, now it'll work. All right, and that's just going to bring us to Google.com. And you can use, uh, you can use anything. You can, like, if you wanted to try to get people to subscribe to your YouTube channel, if you want to. Uh, if you want to try to uh, get people to watch a video or if you want them to take a look at like a poll on a website of yours or anything like that. Um, if you want to show an interesting picture, which actually with Hammer, there's easier ways to do that, so I wouldn't suggest that. But anyway, um, if, if you just want to pull up a website for any reason, that's what you would do to do that. And... Uh, and you know, there's there's a lot more that you can do with uh, with this general concept. As I said, uh, you know, there's a massive list of stuff here. That's just what I wanted to use as an example. Uh, but you know, I really suggest that you look into that. Um, I'll go into a few more things. Uh, like I'll I'll try to cover like as much as much of these as I can over the course of uh, of my tutorial series. I'll try to have my next one up on next Wednesday. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye bye.